Hello everybody and welcome to a great new map. This is, well, I call it the Tom Pemberton map. Uh, but this is actually called the Ballam Road Dairy Farming. This is by FS Landscaping. And according to the mod hub, this is his first map. And wow, I, I have to say it's, it's a really great one. And yes, it is based on the real-life Tom Pemberton map, or well, map, farm. So if you haven't seen it, go and check out uh, Mr. Tom Pemberton and his dad, Ginger, <laughs> on YouTube. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen videos uh, from Tom Pemberton, but now I definitely have to look at it. And it looks... I have to say 95 to maybe a hundred percent exactly how it does in uh, in real life this is the uh, the new cow castle cattle shed and there was there's a lot of cows on this map um, it says in the name you know dairy farming so most of the map is grass but you also have um, you know normal crop fields uh, there are 10 different cow pastures sheds uh, slot count is ridiculously low and you do actually have some nice equipment uh, typically tom pemberton style <laughs> So yeah, I, I really like this one. Uh, you know, it's based on in Northwest England, Blackpool. Uh, so let's jump into the map. So this is the map. And as you can see, it's a lot of green, a lot of grass areas. But you also have some uh, normal fields, so to speak. So what do you start with? Well, look at this. Boom, bam. You start with a lot um so the main farm area is here and on your main farm area you actually have six different cows <laughs> well you have the the side shed the cow pasture the old cattle shed and new cattle shed uh cow pasture and another cow pasture and over here which is also in real life it's like a beef cattle um well you know where you don't get milk it's only meat production so you got smaller beef cattle shed and bigger beef cattle shed and out there is the cow pasture and this one you also own uh, most of the fields here are grass fields uh, there are patches as you can see here some strange patches all over the place and these are actually areas where you have uh, houses. Um, the only thing well, well, I would wish is all these small patches there, that these were independent, so to speak. You know, if you want to start from scratch or, you know, like a survival challenge. Um, because if, you know, if I cannot sell just this one this is a part of the whole area here all this in light blue so you you can sell it for 2.4 million uh, you can also sell the different um, grass areas if you want and the periphery is 19.1 million and that's also yeah it's it's up there <laughs> Uh, you do have productions. Uh, you actually start with the biogas plant and you can sell it if you want. Uh, you can sell the area, but that's included in your main farm area and some grass areas. Uh, you also have some productions. Um, you start with uh, one production actually on your farm. I'm going to show you that. You also start with some greenhouses. Uh, the main shop area is down here, which is also the reset point. Uh, there are contracts available. There are no, what should I say? There are no um, to, 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 to forestry areas. So you, if you're into forestry, 
Um, the one thing I'm missing also, or I haven't found it, is uh, light switches. <laughs> I know, I know. And you know, it, typically Tom Pemberton does equipment laying all over the place. Um, but yeah, I really like it. And this guy here, this is for uh, seed and mineral feed, was it? Seed and mineral feed, you know, a buying station. Uh, two big bunker silos. These are the uh, good old bunker silos. Uh, so what do you start with? Well, like I said, the slot count was really low on this one. <laughs> Your start equipment, um, the slot count is 412. And that's the exact same as on Farm Manager. The different difference on Farm Manager, you don't start with uh, any land. You do have the equipment and all this, but you don't have any land areas. You actually also have the cows. <laughs> but yeah, what do we start with? We have a Lintner, we got two stale tractors. One of them is a little bit uh, more bad shape than the other. Um, you, you have one telehandler. Uh, on the picture, on the mod hub, it says that, well, in my eyes, at least, it's a, a red Merlot. Um, and that's why, you know, I brought in the Merlot as a mod, but I don't start with it. And there's no saying that you need to have any required mods. But I'm pretty sure the picture showing here with the red telehandler, that's the Merlot. But anyway, you, you don't have it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> At least not on console. Uh, you got two cars, a uh, trailer, uh, slurry tank, pretty decent slurry tank. Um, one mower. You're probably going to need to upgrade that one. But anyhow, uh, it's a great one to start with. And uh, for animals, you have a milk tank, you have a straw blower, and a TMR mixer. And I think. Oh. I think that's the same as they have, or is it a green one they have in real life? Uh, animal transport trailer and front loader, front loader tools. Um, what else? Yeah, the production. You actually start with a production facility inside your farm here. And as you can see, there are animal triggers all over the place here. The good thing is that uh, whenever you walk over an animal trigger like this, you can see it says the new cattle shed. Zero animals. So, um, <laughs> animals. You start with a hundred um, cattle or beef cows. It says that it's producing milk, but yeah, I'm a little bit uncertain on that. But these 100 uh, beef cows are located on the other farm. And it's full with, with food. 350,000 liters of hay. So you're good. Uh, on your farm, you have uh, milk cows. The Holstein milk cows. You actually have 120 milk cows. So these are uh, located on the cow pasture. I know there's a lot of cow pastures, but <laughs> these are located outside. Um, let's see, I need to jump in here. I'm pretty sure in real life, I'm, I'm just referring to real life now. When Tom Pemberton is walking in here, he's got uh, uh, sheep in here, I think. Or am I remembering wrong? Or is it over here? I think it's over here. Yeah, you know, he's walking here with a bucket with milk and feeding the baby sheep. But it doesn't see, you know, you don't have a sheep uh, animal pen on here. Uh, let's see, I know it's a little bit complicated here. But this area here is the dairy 
we actually have a dairy the only thing i don't find is the management button but if we go into productions you can see we have um, greenhouses three greenhouses and the biogas plant we start with and if you see here the pemberton dairy where you can produce butter cheese and chocolate so but you know the the management key i don't see this is where you drop your milk um and this is where the magic happens i think it says in the bottom right corner there the pemberton dairy and no light switches here either he's you know tom pemberton is uh, probably saving uh saving some electricity <laughs> um, so if we go into flight mode here uh, you can have cows inside here you can have cows here uh, you can have cows here in the side shed and you can also have cows outside so this is where you have your 120 cows now these will also produce milk because there is a um, taking out symbol here. So this is for food. This is for taking out milk, I'm pretty sure. Animal dialogue box there. There is a water trough. But if we go into our animals and these guys, uh, it doesn't say that they need um, uh, water. So that that's a strange one. I think it was was it these guys? I, I you know I bought cows on all of these. No, I think it was on these guys. On the side shed. If I buy a Holston cow here, bam. Okay, these guys. Yeah, the side shed. Oh, yo, yeah, here we go. So the side shed, uh, they also require straw and they will produce slurry. And you can see there's already slurry in here. <laughs> and there's a big slurry tank. And these are probably to take out the slurry. Or did this say... Oh, manure heap. All right, all right. Manure and slurry. Oh, maybe this is some uh, opening where we can take out slurry. No. Oh. I know there is uh, there is a big fat slurry tank over here. Which is also in real life. And this one here consists of 17,000 liter with slurry. So you can start, you know, to spray some slurry. I'm just going to check, check the new one here. These are the new ones. Let's take brown Swiss on this one. All right. Let's check this one here. That's the brown Swiss one. And yeah, that's so this is also... This is also requiring straw and will produce milk. They already produced 5,000 liters of milk. <laughs> there we go. That's the brown Swiss guy. But yeah, it's, um, can you tell I'm excited? You know what, I it, I want to jump into this straight away. And, you know, um, maybe change out some of the equipment. Uh, but yeah, if, I, if I'm going on here, I'm definitely doing, you know, old style. I'm calling it old style, but it's not <laughs> um, bunker silage. You know, instead of just putting it into a silo and let it ferment, putting it in here, uh, you know, using these kind of equipment, putting in the feed mixer. Oh man, I have to start to watch Tom Pemberton again. <laughs> now, I almost forgot, of course, on your main farm, which is also in real life, there, there's a cell point. Uh, the Tom Pemberton farm shop. And you also have a shop where you can go inside to see the different products. 
It's a little bit naked in the shelves right now, but you have some tasty bakery pastures. Pastures? No, cookies. Also here, I haven't found any uh, light switches. I see there are lights there, but we we probably need to uh, we need to uh, you know pay our electrical bill. No light switches there. Um, so that's the uh, that's the farm shop and the cell point. Oh yeah, this one here. Um, there's a garage here, uh, which you can use. And there's a lot of shed places. Oh, what's this? Oh, I totally missed on this one. Uh, what is that trigger for? Where am I? I'm here. Manure heap? Does it say manure heap? Manure heap. What? Oh, here's the trigger. Ah, okay. <laughs> you seek and you will find. So this is the trigger for your dairy. Ah, okay. All right, you go into here. That's the trigger. And this is the dairy. This is the dairy itself. Where the big old milk tanks. Ah, okay. So that's the... Okay, now I got it. This is the dairy. And this one here is the spawn point for your cheese and chocolate. Yeah. All right. Now I got it. This is typically Tom Pemberton. <laughs> Old things stole away here. Oh, man. I like it. I like it. So let's take a quick round drive on the map. I'm just going to jump in here. And yeah, like I said, there is no sleep trigger. And uh, when it comes to demolished things, uh, there are some of these uh, sheds which you can um, uh, sell, like this one. This one you can't, this one you can't. The um, bunker silos you can sell. Uh, none of these, no, there was one of these which I could sell. Which one was that? No? Alright, alright. But you can also sell the uh, all the um, um, the greenhouses you can sell, but you can also sell all of the cow pastures pens. So if I go over here and I don't want this one, I can sell it. And that could be a good idea because, you know, if you want to go into other animals, if I want to go into chickens, uh, I get a notification there are too many animal pens. So let's do a test here now. Let's, uh, let's sell that one for 32,000. And let's go down to chickens. There we go. Can I place one now? Yeah, okay. So that's 10. I've said this before. 10 animal pens. I'm pretty sure we, we got that increased to 20 on FS22. Or is it 20 in total with. with productions? Maybe. Alright, alright. And in good English style. You have a lot of gates and you know there's a lot of animals running around here so first area which we're gonna come to is the uh, second farm as I call it the beef cattle farm and what you also have on this map are uh, two golf courses <laughs> I know so here you can see some of your, what was it, a hundred, oh, three, uh, a hundred beef cattle, and this is an area which you own, and, and as you can see, since this is not, um, well, it's not, uh, what you say, uh, a field in such, 
Um, let's see on the map here now where we are. We just drove down here. So this one here area is the one that we are looking at, which we own. Uh, but on these kind of areas, you cannot hire a worker because you know it's it hasn't been plowed, it hasn't been created. Uh, so this is the big uh, biogas plant. And all of this area here, um, you own. And if you don't want these, these guys here, you can sell them. Bam, like so. Let's just try to do that. There we go. Uh, and you can also sell the biogas plant if you don't want it. Or you want to place a bigger one or a smaller one. You can sell the biogas plant, which is nice. And he also um, gives a lot of credit to other models amongst Alien Jim with his uh, placeable pack with all of these machineries. And yeah, there's a lot of these spotted around. Did I mention the uh, megabyte size on this one? It's 457 megabyte. There we go, if you want to do some corn harvesting, jump in it. But yeah, slot count. 412. There you see. <laughs> there is... There, <laughs> there is... The, here we go, this is the golf course. One of the golf course. And there are like a one person on each golf course, just wandering around. There we go, that's a small part three hole. <laughs> and that's the that's a part of the uh, periphery uh, which you have to buy for 19 million. But yeah, I like this. Uh, it's been a while since I've done cows. And uh, now on... Now on Ebony Island, I'm just doing what well, chickens and sheep, and the map before that uh, was Silverun. So it's been a while since I've done um, cows. Maybe this is a little bit too much cows, <laughs> but you know you can sell you can sell all of these if it's getting too complicated. Uh, you know, with jumping into the menu here, there are. Like I said, 10 different ones. Um, but this is the um, this is the uh, beef cattle area where you have your JCB uh, telehandler. So there's one big... Let's see if I can go in there. That's the big one. This will hold 50 cows. And the small one will hold uh, 30, was it? And this one, the pasture, will hold 250. Yeah, so here you can see a bigger beef cattle shed and small beef cattle shed. <laughs> and these guys here are manure heap. So I'm guessing it's in here. It's a pretty nice clean area for manure to pop up. Uh, so this one will hold 30 and the other one here will hold 50. And these are bunker silos. Oh man, that's gonna be a lot of uh, compacting. Another greenhouse. Um, you don't own the area outside here. And if we fly over, this is like a second farm. Uh, but this area here, which seems like a nice area if you want to start there, uh, you don't own actually. Uh, this is just on the edge. If we jump into the map again, we are down here. So this is where the houses are. And that's a part of the periphery. For 19 millions. So, then we're gonna drive over here and down to the shop and cell point area. And there we go, let's start it up. And there are several of these uh, water ponds uh, spotted around. 
some of the roads are pretty narrow as you can see here you don't get in here with uh, a, you know the biggest boy in town you got some small fields over here I like it. oh oh I'm watching <laughs> Uh, what I haven't tried is if you can remove uh, fences. No. At least the one that you don't own. Um, collectibles. Did I mention collectibles? Uh, there are no collectibles. Uh, what I'm also gonna do before we end is I'm gonna test out on the beef cattle the beef cows since it's saying milk on them uh, I don't <laughs> I don't think they will produce milk that's gonna be some bull juice uh, milk if you know what that means uh, I don't want to use that in my uh, dairy. So now we're all, all the way down in the south um, east corner. We got some cell point over here. And this is the uh, more exclusive uh, golf course, uh, which also has um, cell point, which is called the golf course, isn't it? The golf club cafe. So all of this area here are, is a golf course. Uh, which again is a part of the periphery. But also here, uh, or let's see, when we're driving down again here, um, all of these houses here, those two lines with houses, uh, you actually own. But, you know, if you want to start from uh, scratch here, in this little house here, uh, the bad thing is then, you see, this is the part of uh, this line here. If you want to buy it, then you're also buying the whole shebang here for 2.4 million. <laughs> so hopefully there will be a map update where, um, you know, people that want to start smaller, they can do that, um, but yeah. So on the right side here we have an oil mill factory. On the left side here, this is the um, this is the animal dealer. So if you want to do it the uh, realistic way, you have to come here to get your uh, animals. And if you see here, you have ten different uh, cow sheds pastures one two three four five six seven eight nine ten <laughs> oh no chicken pasture uh oh what have i missed do i have chickens oh for shoot the maker oh yeah that <laughs> no that's the one i placed oh uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> I sold the one. Now I only have nine cow pastures and one chicken one. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, buddies. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right. Let's get going. Let's get going. And I'm going to turn right there. And in this area, we have the main shop. Where we also have a lot of uh, alien gym stuff spotted around. So this is the uh, reset point. So if we take uh, the lint track and reset it, it's gonna pop up over there, as you can see. And there's also a workshop trigger here, um, just on the backside. Uh, there, do, 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 do. yeah. Let me check my notes, sir. Uh, there are no, uh, yeah, there's no forestry. There are no, 
No train system, um, no collectibles, slot count, low as it can be, um, same slot count on farm manager, and we have to drive on the left side here, fuel station, uh, so you know what, I'm, I'm gonna, um, we're gonna drive up again uh, to our main farm here. Uh, we're gonna double check on our cows and yeah you know what on my neighbor uh, property of whoa of the main farm I think there is like a millionaire or maybe a footballer <laughs> who lives straight off my uh, my farm and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you it's that small house to the left there. Uh, it doesn't seem big and if I can get my big fat uh, ass in here but this guy here you know really nice garden and everything and look at this in the middle of the island there you got an H and where I come from and what I work with that's a helicopter landing space <laughs> Well, maybe it's something different in the UK, but uh, yeah, this is probably a football player uh, from Blackpool. You know, he's got his own tennis court and everything. And I think this is also a part of the, let's see, I'm here now. Yeah, that little spot there, that's the, that's the house, but unfortunately it's also a part of the big lot so let's check the uh, beef cattle here now uh, these guys the angus and limousine they got plenty of food uh, the milk is zero liter and I'm also gonna check these guys here these have produced 90 liter with milk but I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep no I don't have a sleep trigger uh, and I don't have any mods. Um, why is my money? Oh yeah, we sold something, didn't we? Uh, let's see. I don't have the um, doormat, I think. Uh, I have this one. Uh, I have this one. Uh, I can just uh, sleep in this one, can't I? <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's jump into this one and let's get to bed and I'll see you in uh, September. All right, all right, here we go. We are in September and let's check. First of all, the uh, Holstein um, cows have produced 9,000 liter in one day. Ooh, mama, isn't that a lot? Anyway. Uh, the limousine and Angus, no, there's no milk coming out of them. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> luckily, uh, we don't want any of that bull juice milk. Uh, but anyway, I think that was all for the, um, not Tom Pemberton map, but the Ballam Road Dairy Farming by Mr. FS or Miss FS Landscaping. Great map, great lighting, by the way. And yeah. Thanks for watching, and bye bye. <laughs>